It is a Choose to be awesome Tuesday right here on Star FM, your first choice for sport. I'm a Sadecha, undisputed heavyweight of voice of sport. A big thank you uh, to KVG and uh, uh, Mr. Doby with you on the 3 to 6 Express. Uh, I'll be back again at the same time tomorrow with an absolutely jam packed show. If you love your cricket, there was some good news from Harara Sports Club today uh, with the Zimbabwe's elect's top order finally coming to the party as centuries from Craig Irvin and Joel Gumbi gave Zimbabwe Select a convincing seven wicket victory over Pakistan Shaheens today. And it's 25 days until the ICC Men's Cricket World Cup qualifier in Harare and Bulawayo. The fixtures are out. Zimbabwe versus West Indies. That's the standout fixture. Zimbabwe will also play Nepal, Netherlands, and the USA in Group A. And uh, we we'll continue our build up uh, to the biggest game in uh, Zimbabwe, that is the Battle of Zimbabwe between Highlanders and Dynamos. It's slated for Thursday, that's Africa Day. Uh, so, cheapest tickets are for that are uh, going for $5 after Boso. We're given the green light by the Premier Soccer League to raise the gate charges for the big game. Uh, normally, uh, uh, charges are $2, uh, but up to $5. Therefore, the grandstand wings, uh, they've been doubled to $10. Uh, VIP, if you want to sit in luxury, if there's such a thing, uh, you have to pay uh, 15 US dollars uh, for uh, that. Uh, David Sengu joins me, uh, Caps United Scout. Uh, your initial, just quick reaction on the gate charges, $5 for the cheapest ticket. Battle of Zimbabwe, Highlanders, Dynamos, two biggest teams in the country. Let's be fair. Can I imagine this one? Quiz up to five dollars. This is three dollars. They said that we are best jumper. They got zigger. The cheapest ticket must be three dollars. Artist could have favor. They must be fair to who? Please explain. To all the big teams that are playing, can I do quiz them get charges? Including Cap United? Yes. In Cap Dynamos, it was three dollars, isn't it? The cheapest ticket so yeah for islanders it can't be five dollars it got it okay pass all right three dollars see but david uh, it's taking us straight to the top do you think the psl are being unfair by charging the gate charges at five dollars for the battle of zimbabwe highlanders dynamo most thursday i think if caps united were denied but i don't know if they, i were denied maybe we have to hear from david were you denied the chance to increase to five dollars yes we were denied all right, uh, so you can come through with your contributions and comments. Uh, WhatsApp platform zero seven seven five eight nine seven eight nine seven. But from you, I don't know. I don't really care about whether you think it was fair or not. I want to find out. You know, are you willing to pay that five dollars or for the rest of the ground? That's your Soweto, your Mpilo, and uh, for the Grandstand Wings just adjacent to the VIP. Are you willing to pay ten dollars? Uh, for VIP, $50 come through on our WhatsApp platform. International sport, uh, uh, an interesting story. Basketball superstar LeBron James hinting that he could possibly retire uh, after his LA Lakers were swept by the Denver Nuggets 4-0. This was in the NBA Western Conference Finals uh, today. So you can also send through your reaction. Do you think King James is going to call it quits or maybe this is just a distraction? All right, all those and more coming up on the Daily Sports Zone. This is the Daily Sports Zone. Star FM, your first choice for sport. The Daily Sports Zone every weekday, 6.05, down to 6.30 right here on Star FM. Your first choice for sport. And let's start with cricket with a recap of what happened at Harare Sports Club. Nicely played. He'll be thinking of two. He's running hard. The first one, and he does come back. Join the Tumbi. This has been brilliant. Raise your bet as you like. Join the Tumbi. He's been fantastic today. Started off a little slow, and there's jubilation around from the crowd and from the change room. You have deserved this. Take a bow. Uh, that is uh, Joyla Gumbi there with a century. Uh, so did Craig Irvine. Uh, so two centuries for Zimbabwe select today in a convincing uh, seven-wicket win over Pakistan Shaheens. Uh, this was in the fourth one-day match at Harare Sports Club today. So national team captain Craig Irvin, uh, top scoring with a fluent 161 runs century. It included 19 fours and three sixes. And he was ably assisted by Joyla Gumbi, who continued with, uh, who contributed with 100 and 11 uh, that gave uh, Zimbabwe select a solid 
277 run first wicket partnership that's not something uh, that uh, uh, Zimbabwe teams have been very familiar with in terms of all the conversations we've had about uh, the uh, top order uh, so earlier Zimbabwe selector captain Wellington Masakaza he had won the toss he had elected to bowl first and Brad Evans was the pick of the bowlers there uh, for Zimbabwe select with figures of five uh, four uh, 62 as Pakistan Shaheens made 294 for nine. Omar Yusuf at 153 was Kamram Gallum at 52. And uh, Zimbabwe select captain uh, Wellington Masakaza, he was full of praise uh, for Gumbi, who uh, impressed there in that 299, 277 run partnership uh, with Craig Irvin. All right, instead we'll hear from uh, Sean Williams there, the national team captain, on his knock. Really chuffed to just just to get some runs. Um, obviously batting second, the wicket got a little bit better for us. Um, and it was just a case of, you know, trying to get in there, trying to bat long, bat deep. Um, and thankfully myself and Joy did that well today. There was a conversation that went on upstairs. I won't tell you who it was, but the talk was every time Craig Irvin bats with a young man, they both go on and score runs. What is it that you share with the youngsters when you bat with them in the middle? Oh, look, I, I just try and keep it nice and simple, you know. Um, also, try and enjoy, enjoy yourself out there. Um, you obviously got quite a bit of pressure already as it is. Um, and just trying to take a bit of that pressure off. Oh, that is the national team captain, uh, Craig Evande, uh, with his 161. Simba, you know, this qualifiers being used as preparations for this series, actually being used as preparations for the qualifiers, which we host next month. We'll talk about them shortly. But surely it's encouraging when we see such... Uh, good performances, especially with the bat. Yes, it is, uh, uh, Mr. Tisha, because uh, we have always been complaining that uh, with our bat, we have also been struggling. And uh, there's no other time that you need confidence, you know, especially going into the qualifiers. And uh, you don't also need to look at the uh, stage of the opponents. What you just need is, you know, for the players to come to the party and gain that confidence. And this is what they did, Craig Evan, uh, Joel Ed Gumbi, also getting that confidence. And we just hope that they will carry on with that. All right, a big congratulations to Zimbabwe select uh, John Peary in Mount Pleasant. We stay with uh, cricket, and uh, Zimbabwe will take on two time World Cup champions, West Indies, in the headline match of the ICC Men's Cricket World Cup Qualifier 2023 uh, to be played in Wilaya and Harare next month. So, 10 teams will take part in the qualifier, with the top two teams booking a place at the ODI World Cup in India later this year. Zimbabwe in a group. Group A with the West Indies, Nepal, Netherlands and the USA. Uh, group B has Sri Lanka, Ireland, Scotland, Oman and the UAE. So the Chevrons will play all their group matches at Arara Sports Club uh, starting with Nepal on the 18th of next month. They then face the Netherlands two days later before clashing with West Indies on the 24th. Uh, their final group game is against uh, the USA on the 26th of June. Sports. This is football. Football. I think we have a winner. Mm, loser. The news is our life. Did you hear what the weatherman said? Ready for it's the complete radio sports show. The daily sports zone is on right now. All right, we get into some football and. Uh, us. Battle of Zimbabwe, excitement is always a big week <laughs> whenever Highlanders and Dynamos get ready to face off. And the big news today is that Highlanders are given the green light for the Premier Soccer League to increase gate charges for their big match versus Dynamos at Battlefield Stadium on Thursday. That is Africa Day, it's a public holiday. So, cheapest tickets for the Battle of Zim have been pegged at five US dollars. That's for the rest of the ground, that's up from two US dollars, and the grandstand wings. Are 10 US dollars. These are adjacent uh, to the VIP and the VIP tickets themselves going for uh, 15 US dollars. So Highlanders are like uh, uh, David alluded to. They're the first team uh, to be given the green light to raise gate charges. This is something that the PSO Board of Governors agreed to uh, at the start of the season. But we do know in the build-up to uh, the Harara Derby between Caps United and Dynamos, uh, Caps United, my Kepe Kepe, uh, were denied their request uh, to raise that gate charges for that Harara Derby. And uh, David is already on record as saying that it is unfair. Uh, but we have a few messages coming through here before I bring you guys in the studio. And Isuwe Kips, Takarambiru Akuita, $5. As a Highlanders, Yakoshe, that's Brian Moyopan Norton. Okay, uh, another one. 
Uh, your so-called PSO board is confused to the last degree. Flip-flopping. Uh, your number is 985. Uh, Mr. Tech uh, Ne one who are administration decisions should be universal to every team on gate charges and approval of stadia. That's Benichim Tanda. Uh, you are in Glenora, and uh, uh, it's not fair. Kepsi Yakarambi Wawani, why Boso? Sekuru wa Shalomo Kukuwa and our extension. All right, this one. I wish to see my team Dynamos win. That's a Dennis Midzi from Bulawayo. So, yes, but yeah, you know, several suggestions there from uh, the contributions on our WhatsApp platform that, you know, there's lack of consistency. David has already allu alluded to it. Yeah, indeed, Mr. Teacher, because uh, if, uh, you know, uh, Caps had wanted to pay it at five dollars. Uh, they should have also have been allowed uh, if they have gone on to allow Highlanders uh, to to do the same thing, and it shows a lack of consistency uh, on the part of uh, the authority that be. But we also want to hear from them why there are disparities, you know, in awarding such uh, privileges to clubs, uh, because uh, you know if we are still in the first half of the season and uh, the clubs in terms of the magnitude, yes, of course, Highlanders you know commands a lot of uh, support uh, but uh, they should have allowed both clubs so we also want to hear from them on the reason why they had so much uh, disparities in terms of how they deal with teams yeah we did try to get in touch with the premiers of league because some of our calls went unanswered hopefully we can get something <laughs> we can get something by the time we get to breakfast tomorrow 6 37 and 8 day david you're laughing but uh, at the top of the show you weren't too happy yeah mr tish it's not uh it's not fair. I remember also small teams who we end up coming up with uh, uh, such kind of requests, you know, and say we are playing Highlanders at home, so obviously we would want also to, to have our gate charges pegged at $5. No, but, uh, but the PSO Board of Governors Caps agreed at the start even. of the season, David, that uh, the raising the gate charges would only be for the big games. I so the small team uh, argument... Yeah, well, they will end up doing that because look at Caps United. So which means Caps United is a small team. I'm not the one to say that. I'm not no. the one to say oh, that. Oh no, Jindru Kudaru. Jindru Kudaru. Jindru Kudaru. Yeah, yeah but still to support what David is saying is that uh, you know the reason why you are hiking charges for a big game is you want to maximize yeah. in terms of money. So even the small teams would also want to maximize when Dynamo Highlanders are coming their way. Yeah, sure. Hands in Mari. Hands in Mari. Guy got eighty per three dollars. That is fair. Asamuru. A mini in Mutora Shanga and the five dollars Yaka Naka Doba, uh, Pasoma Bula Asi, Pane Icharo, a chete, mm, five dollars Mari Io, uh, and the Awaja Shika Mground, Musinaka Namuno, a pinda, it's better because the ground, a name at three dollars, and the five dollars for Premier Soccer match is too much, you can't count seven in uninterrupted passes. Will entertainment be guaranteed? Well, I would have loved for you to put your name so that we know who we're hearing from. Uh, Borale Kipsne Dynamos is not the only, is not the battle of Zimbabwe. That's why Rakanzi, $3. All right. It's unfair because Kepsi Yakarambi were 5 US. Ikanzi, eat a 3 US. Ko Apa, Shaza, Siana, Papi, Pakunzi, Highlanders, eat a 5 US. Why Highlanders, DJ Mavics. So a lot of people uh, clearly uh, are not understanding the logic behind this uh, decision could it be that it's a public holiday and maybe like you said they're trying to capitalize <laughs> I, don't, I don't like uh, we don't have their of their, their side of the story so we can only speculate yeah but to think that uh, sundays would bring more people more than uh, just a thursday which is a public holiday all right uh, david <laughs> <laughs> i mean as as, as captioner when you guys approach the pso do you have any insights into some of the reasons you guys were given for that uh, refusal to raise those gay charges? Yeah, I think the same reasons that were given, Mr. Tish, before this is started, that, uh, you know what, we had pegged, you know, football two dollars. So obviously, uh, getting to five dollars, I think uh, it was going to be too much to the fans. Yeah. Maybe they thought maybe fans were not going to come, you know, in their numbers. But then, look, Caps United is Caps United. They had their own reasons why they had to hike the charges. Of course, uh, like the PSL said, could uh, season is Changa Pepe. You know, only big teams. So, yeah, maybe we we are not part of the big teams, though. All right, the, the, this one says, I'm just going to poke you there. Uh, he says, Muzimu, we need two big teams, Chete. That's Dimare and Boso. 
Uh, that's the word that I they're coming through. Uh, it's not fair why our team Green Machine uh, were denied. Hapana kwa tutukwenda. That's why Tichi Banwa kune kunze ndizo kwa zuno vira. Please don't do that. That's Jackson Jolam. Allowing Highlanders uh, to increase gate charges when Caps United were denied that privilege shows favoritism by the Premier Soccer League. Is it because uh, they are aligned to Boso? Okay, that's Gushungo, Wepa, Zimba. Uh, things must be done fairly. As, uh, I want to come back in and talk about the five dollars. You think, right, if we're to walk away from whether it was fair or not for Caps to be denied and Highlanders to be approved. Five dollars. Do you think that will affect attendance uh, come uh, Thursday, Africa Day? Yeah, Mr. Teach, you look at uh, from uh, two dollars to five dollars is the sharp increase. But I don't know for Islanders when they arrived at that uh, figure five dollars. Maybe they've got the confidence in their fans that they'll still come in numbers, even if it's five dollars. But for me, it's a sh uh, too sharp increase for, 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 for from two dollars to five dollars. But uh, that's another thing to remember, David. That as much as the PSO might have approved this. This was a request from Highlanders to raise it up to, to $5. Can they fill up BF still? Yeah, they can still fill up, especially the Soweto end. Don't be surprised. It will be full to the capacity. But uh, look, Mr. Tish, even Highlanders, when it was $2, it was always full. So obviously we would want to see how, you know, they will take it on, on Thursday. But to me, I think Highlanders fans will always come up and fill up the stadium. Remember, it's Dynamo's versus Highlanders. You know, in fact, Highlanders versus Dynamo. So, yeah. If Everyone wants to see how they performed, especially in a better pitch than the one in Mount Darwin. But look, even in Mount Darwin, yeah, they showed the glimpse of what they are capable of doing with these both sides. So, yeah, on Thursday, everyone w would want to see, you know, a better performance. All right, a message here from Brighton Senior in Valoya says, High sports team, I think sometimes fairness is lacking in our football. Our fans were failing to pay three dollars they dropped to two dollars and another team were denied to increase gate charges to that five dollars so what's so special about highlanders now fans will not go where they do think people will get well, fans will not go where do they think uh, people will get the money and now uh this pso board is inconsistent that is a uh, brighton senior from uh, uh Malawi. this one says uh right uh, hi, Mr. Tish. I think they also considered the capacity of the National Sports Stadium and uh, Baba Fields. Baba Fields, Mukanze, three dollars. Muno Zaresisa. I guess that is Riz. Does that make sense to you to say, all right, because Baba Fields is smaller than the National Sports Stadium? <laughs> uh, if we don't raise the gate charges, Baba Fields will be overflowing. That's Riz's contribution. Not uh, really, Mr. Teacher, because uh, we have been, been getting the crowds that uh, you know we have been seeing in the yesteryear. And I think the only last time that we saw uh, Baba Field Stadium being uh, full to the brims was uh, when the, uh, FC Platinum uh, played against Orlando Pirates. So for me, after that, we have never witnessed a game that uh, you know we have seen uh, Baba Field Stadium fully, you know, uh, 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 full to, 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 to capacity. But uh, I think, you know, even with the five dollars, we still not have many people. Or even if we had three dollars, we're not still going to have uh, Islanders full, uh, Baba Field Stadium full to capacity. So you don't think it's going to be full come Thursday? Yeah, of course. The numbers, the attendance have uh, uh, have, uh, have gone down. All right. Now this one says, "Who doesn't know Kuti Boso is the biggest crowd puller?" Please put your names, guys, at zero zero two, so that we know who we are hearing for. All uh, right, uh, uh, Abzi. Why raising my gay charges? Pama zero zero ayo arukuta mwana ma team five dollars yaka one disa Austin pa ushe wekunze that is <laughs> you love David. <laughs> no, it's not it's not much about the result. Who it's about uh, you know the magnitude of the game in terms yeah, sure. of uh, getting money. Sure. Uh, so as long as Dynamo's Highlanders Highlanders Dynamo's you'd increase. Uh, Caps United Dynamo's you also increase. Highlanders Dynamo's uh, Highlanders Caps United you'd also increase. But then my worry also will be on the smaller teams because if say Greenfield are going to West Highlanders or Dynamos, they would also think that it's better that you increase from two dollars maybe to three dollars or four dollars or five dollars. Our governments, our governance bodies in football have got a lot of inconsistencies. Uh, they will kill our soccer, which was promising this season. That's from Guisai in Harare. Uh, 
All uh, right. <laughs> ah, yeah, you guys are hilarious. <laughs> do, you, do you guys know this is, you know, national radio? I can't read some of these messages. Uh, <laughs> you better not. You better not, Mr. Teach. Because yeah, all, all I'll say is that there's mention some of, these of, comments. of ghosts and... Uh, Ah, I'm not. I'm just, ah, yeah, but yeah. but yeah. but Mr. Teach, I think I think you know what with this kind of games, and it, because we we knew there was Independence Day where it was going to be Highlanders versus Dynamo, mm. you know, somewhere other venue, right? But then I think PSO should have done better and communicate with all the big teams, and it could you guys when you play each other, and it Marine Unifan on Gary Papa, rather than bring out another request each and every game that these guys are trying, you know, to be playing. So that there will be fairness. And it passa it kagu kagujaru sarura gaga kuti no good because it team ningi and mugon. Because even FC Platinum would say when we play Highlanders at at Mandawa, we are going to charge five dollars. So which means we are going to have another big six. You know. Yeah, we we, we all know maybe in Europe as well. I think tickets are are a bit expensive when big teams meet. You know. Even the Champions League final, imagine the cheapest ticket is going for 80 US, but are we playing Champions League? Level no, football? I'm saying, I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, <laughs> could it, look, biggest teams that are playing in the Champions League final, and it, the cheapest ticket is going for 80 US, then the most expensive is going for 800, it's not even 1.5. But uh -huh. those that are going to get those tickets are going to put them on the auction, especially on the black market, so that they can maximize, you know, on those that want to that want to attend. So for me, I thought maybe you know, the PSO will come up with the such to say good when this game is going to be played between dynamos and caps between islanders and caps between islanders dynamos it's going to be you know five dollars rather than clubs putting requests you know a week before or even a day before so the, the psl should have come up with the, their big game yeah of course all right this one a bit of banter david i'm gonna read it ah, it's good. from max okay. nyasoba but and now david gawadzi coming our boss on the debate and do they got two big <laughs> teams and the it's not about high lenders it's about the battle of zimbabwe uh and the maybe it's positive discrimination ah, okay <laughs> all right <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> all right all right just quickly before we wrap up we do have some interesting news uh, simba uh, temba gorimba obviously uh making history this week becoming the first uh, zimbabwean uh to win in the ufc and uh, now he has auctioned off the gear that he wore uh in that win against uh, takashi shato of japan i uh, auctioned it for five thousand us dollars and uh, he's going to be uh giving the process donating the process uh towards building a borehole in his home village of Bikita. yeah indeed he has always done that uh, and remember the time that uh, he was fighting the efc he auctioned some of uh, the gear that he was using there he has always tried uh, to uplift the people from uh, Bikita, from where he came from because he also attended uh the school who's there in the rural area so he's trying to give the youngsters from there an opportunity so that they can rise is the same way that he managed to do and uh, hopefully there is also going to be one or two that are going to come out of that uh, be it academically or sports wise unfortunately there is no uh, you know mixed martial arts uh, like it is in south africa uh, that maybe he was going to get one who was also going to rise uh, from Bikita to be a, a world champion in mixed martial arts. Yeah, especially after some of the comments he made about his own brother. I thought, you know, he was going to just forget about his brother. It was an absolutely fantastic initiative there from uh, Temba Gorimbo. I can see your messages coming through. Guys, apologies. I couldn't get through all of them. Uh, but this one, Anzi, Ndokuti Vaite Mari Kublawayo Kuno Support Wabora. Uh, Pritchard in uh, Marlborough uh, uh, saying maybe this is a just reward for Highlanders because to be fair over the last couple of seasons David they have had the biggest crowds and when you look at the colour the atmosphere they have been providing that maybe they are allowed to make money off the vibe that they are giving to our football because when we talk about fans in Zimbabwean football uh, we can't ignore uh, Highlanders fans yeah but uh, if you look at Highlanders as a club they've been doing it season every season Mr. Tich even during our play days, even during you know the time of an uh, 
Anasenzo Moyo, Ana Raman Gumbo, you know, Ana Matinda, Ana Peter, they've been, you know, filling Barberfield Stadium. So, yeah, I think on Thursday it will be full to the capacity. And look, in any Pandaka Tambo against Islanders, 2004-2005, you know, when we were on our peak, it was full to capacity, Mr. Tish. I think it was because Caps United were doing well and also Highlanders were, were they were a big doing team well. then? Caps United, yeah. Caps United has been, always been a big team. <laughs> but look, Mr. Tish, it has been always full to capacity between Caps and Highlanders, between Dynamos and Highlanders. You know, it's it's always, you know, good when you're playing in such atmosphere and that brings the best out of all the players, you know, that will be playing during that time. And you know, Gazira Staragog. You got to Gazira by Highlanders you won't be able you know kugadzira star because it's a big stage yeah because no doubt kugadzira kuti both sets of fans vanga vachizoko remember you know kuti kana pese pa wango famba pese they always talk about it also bring the curtain down on the daily sports zone for this tuesday with some uh, news from abroad a basketball star lebron james hinting at possible retirement after his 20th season in the nba came to an end with his la lakers getting a swift 4-0 by the denver nuggets in the nba western conference finals uh, james who broke the nba all-time scoring record this season became the oldest player to score 40 points in the playoffs and that nuggets defeat at age 38 and reports are now coming out of the state saying James considering his future in basketball and if he does decide to play on it might not be with the Lakers so yeah uh, interesting uh, developments there uh, stateside but our closing headlines on the daily sports one uh, centuries from Craig Irvin and uh, Joylet Gumbi uh, gave Zimbabwe select a convincing seven wicket victory over Pakistan Shaheen's today with the pair sharing a 277 run partnership uh, just maybe uh, Zimbabwe the cricket are beginning to find solutions potentially uh, to that opening problem and it's 25 days until the ICC men's cricket World Cup in Arara and Bulawayo fixtures are out Zimbabwe versus West Indies that's the standout fixture uh, we also play Nepal Netherlands and the USA and obviously big debate a lot of reaction uh, on the Battle of Zimbabwe tickets pegged at five dollars for the cheapest uh, David not too happy says let's be fair uh, some fans say you know what we need consistency uh, from the league some say uh, Boso deserve to charge what they want because of their contribution in terms of uh, what the supporters do in creating a fun and exciting environment for our football. But that's a wrap of the Daily Sports on our four tonight. I'm um, your undisputed heavyweight voice of sport. Uh, stand by for the after drive and the Chief Air Marshal, Ola Seven, is in the building and ready for takeoff. We're here for you at Star FM. Musicians.